Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we have another love it or leave it video. These are kind of my monthly videos where I do a couple mini reviews, any quality updates I have, and any favorites. It's just nice to touch base with you guys every once in a while. For a video, it's not always like new brand focus, but I can kind of go back to older pieces and everything and kind of see how things are holding up if I have any updates. If you like these love it or leave it videos, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so. And without further ado, let's start off with some mini reviews. So the first brand I have a mini review for today is Tier. They're launching their new cloud collection on Friday, November 26th at 12 a.m. EST. I think by the time I post this, the launch will have already happened. So, these may or may not be still available, but I still wanted to review them. I always make sure to get some sort of review up before the launch. So be sure to check out my Instagram stories and highlights if you were like, hey, I missed the review in the future. I always have it on Instagram stories if I am not able to do a full YouTube review before the launch. So they have two colors, Breeze, which is this like blue and white tie dye and Compass, which is this like white and kind of like burgundy maroon shade. Personally, I love this burgundy maroon shade. It actually kind of goes with my top today. This is an Alpha Lead Ultra Soft top. It kind of goes. So they're made of a 75% nylon, 75% spandex. And when I took these out of the packaging, I understand why she called them the cloud collection because sometimes tie dyes aren't always like the softest legging because you do have to like double brush them. Like, cause after they get like tie dyed, they usually aren't like feeling quite as soft as before, but they did such a good job on these. First of all, I feel like the tie dye print is really uniform and like there aren't too many sections of like entirely white. I've seen some tie dye brands before do like the like dark on the white and then like your entire butt it's like white. These ones don't have that problem. It's like a very uniform dye and they are just so soft. They feel so good. So here's the sports bra. This one is in an extra small. I have it in a small as well. And I wore that to the gym today and I felt like it fit, but I definitely wasn't like super compressed and the straps did gape like a little bit during my workout. So I'm gonna try on the extra small for you really quick, but it has good coverage in the front. The bottom part kind of comes up a little bit in the center. Removable cup pads with the seams that prevent the cups from going every which way. And then a strappy back. They also have the leggings and they have a tapered waistband. And the waistband also dips down in the front. So it gives you extra lower tummy control. And I feel like this is more flattering on the front than just a straight across seam, especially when you don't have that front seam. Sometimes they can look really plain in the front. So I really like how these dip down. They do have side pockets, one on each side, and the glute seams are tapered in the back, so they're nice and flattering on the glutes. And I want to say these are about like a 25 inch inseam because they were just like a little short on me, probably like seven eighths length. And there's also a matching quarter zip. I feel like all of these pieces together when I was wearing them to the gym, I felt like it was a lot of tie dye to have like full sleeves and full long leggings as tie dye. So I think I would kind of like mix and match it a little more and wear like this tie dye top with like a more solid blue bottom, something like that. Even if you can't match the blue exactly, if like a navy would work. Little mock neck, quarter zip, and they are a very long sleeve with thumb holes. I'm a sucker for thumb holes. I just think it's so nice to have your hands a little bit covered. I love it. So let's try all of these on. All right, here's the sports bra. I do kind of feel like I'm like right in between an extra small and a small. The small fit pretty well up here. I had a really good amount of space for the girls. The small is the other color that I have, but it was gaping a little bit on the straps when I was doing my back workout. This is the extra small and I'm like, almost kind of spilling into the bottom and the straps are a little bit tight on the traps, but I am a little bit more compressed and um, having a little bit more support. This is a solid medium support. In all of the sizes though, really good coverage, full side coverage, full front coverage. You're not gonna fall out of it. Still pretty good support, nice and soft. There's no harsh elastics. It's just a double thickness of the fabric down here. I like that it scoops up in the front as well. And the straps on the back, they're not just the single layer of fabric. They're kind of thickened a little bit. So it's a really cute design back there. So in general for sizing, if you're in between size down, but in general for sizing, I would go with your normal size but you could size down if you do want a little bit more compression. All right, here are the leggings. True to size, I'm getting about a medium compression. If you're in between, I might size up because they are, like I couldn't be any bigger than this and still wear a small. But in general, true to size, high rise, they have the waistband that dips down in the front for a little extra lower tummy control and it scoops up around the sides and then curves down into the glutes in the back. So it's super flattering, definitely medium to high on the booty scale. I think the pattern is just the right amount of dye to the point where it's not gonna be sheer and white on the butt. You're still gonna get good coverage for squat proofness. Really nice and brush material, but it's a very fine brush, so it doesn't look super fuzzy. We still have room for phone pockets on the side. And in terms of the length, it is kind of like seven eighths on me. So for my taller ladies, it's not gonna be quite a full length. You will get some cellulite coverage in these 
these prints as well. Yeah, these are definitely really solid leggings. I do recommend this collection from them. And if you guys are unfamiliar with Tear, they usually have a pretty good price point as well. They're not quite as expensive as like Alpha Lee Buff Bunny, kind of like Gymshark, maybe even a little bit less, but definitely really high quality. As you can see, like fully together, it is definitely a lot of print. So here it is without zipping it up. You can maybe see like a peak of the very top of the sports bra. I like to wear it kind of like half zipped like this, but you could wear it fully zipped up as a mock neck here. The sleeves are really nice and long so that you can take advantage of the thumb hole, really soft material, pretty basic in the back. And when you raise your arms up, it is not going to expose the sports bra underneath. It's a nice good length, but it is definitely still cropped and you will show some skin. The next brand I wanted to do some mini reviews on is Viore. So Viore is actually one of Ian, my boyfriend's current favorite activewear lines for himself. They just have nice, simple designs, really soft fabrics. And he's been wearing his stuff quite a bit and the quality has been pretty good for him. And they sent me some stuff like two months ago. I, I think they just kind of sent me some stuff like on Instagram. I just shared it on my Instagram story and they didn't ask me to like share it anymore. But as I've been wearing stuff, I thought it might as well I'll do a little review for you guys. So the first thing I wanted to talk about are their performance joggers. I I actually tried these back in my sweatpants video last year. And at the time I wasn't like entirely sure. First of all, I sized up, so they were too big. You do not need to size up in these. And second of all, in that video, I was looking for more of like a sweatpant and these really are more of a jogger that I would wear like out of the house. They are definitely comfy enough to wear in the house too. They're made of a super soft brush material, like essentially the Petula Bear leggings and like Aloe Yoga Aloe Soft Beyond Yoga Space Dye in jogger form. So they're like extra comfy. They have an elastic waist with a drawstring, two front pockets, Pockets, and they just kind of have like a relaxed fit everywhere where you want your joggers to be slightly relaxed, a little up here, a little around the knees, and then little cuffs at the bottom. I think they have multiple lengths, but I have the shorter version. Personally, I would prefer the taller version because they are a little short on me, but I have been getting a good amount of wear out of these. And they recently sent me the matching little hoodie sweatshirt, which is also in that same super soft material, nice little slouchy look, but I feel like it's still cute to, to wear as like a little like jogger set out and about. It has the same little drawstring with the metal aglets, it has a hood, and it's just kind of like a relaxed slouchy hoodie shape. And they are all slightly oversized, so you really don't need to size up. This is a size small in the jacket, and sometimes I'm a medium in jackets, but the small is perfect. They're actually made of 89% recycled polyester and 11% elastane. So it's also recycled, which is nice. So this is definitely my favorite stuff from them. They also sent me this little like legging sports bra set, which I have worn once. I have mixed feelings, so we'll try it on. But it's made of the soft brush material, but it's not the same as the marl of the performance joggers. So here's the material, nice and soft and brushed. This bra doesn't have like a true solid elastic on the bottom. So there's just really wasn't a ton of space for the girls, but I thought the cage back was really cute. And you have like the little V like for Peori. And then the leggings have like a solid waistband with a drawstring, which actually is kind of nice to have a legging with a drawstring sometimes because you can like make sure that it don't ever slide down, but it does have a front seam and the seams in the back or just flat across, which tend to not be like the most flattering. They're almost kind of like a jogger shape. They have a cuff at the bottom, but they're as tight as a legging. All right, so here's the bra. And I just don't really like when bras don't have at least some sort of band. Like, I'm not even saying I always need a sports bra that isn't long line, but sports bras like this that like don't even have that band underneath, I feel like I have a little risk for under boob, which I don't like. And I feel like these bras look best on people with smaller cup sizes. So it's not really working for me just in this style. I do like the fabric, decent coverage if it just had a little band, but it just doesn't for me. And the support is very light. I wore this on a walk the other day and it was a mistake because I was just bouncing the whole time. So not really what I want on my walks. Um, and then the back is just like a little cage detail. Not the best choice if you have um, any back fat because it will it will get those rolls but it is cute otherwise i like the v really more of like a light impact yoga bra for someone with a small chest all right here are these leggings i like the material they're nice brushed fabric which is kind of like my personal go-to just soft and brushed like medium thickness overall light to medium compression there is a front seam and this one's not causing me as many issues especially because the waist is so high i didn't even really have to pull it up so really nice and high rise. Um, I like that you can tighten the drawstring around here and it's good that it's in the middle of the waistband, not at the top. So you don't get like cutting in at the top because the waistband isn't like right there at the top. I do have like a little bit of gaping though. Nice and snug on the drawstring part, but then the top kind of gapes. I don't think it looks that bad, but it's an interesting design and I actually kind of do like the look of the drawstring. The seams do sit above my glutes on these without me really pulling them up. So these ones are pretty good. I'm just gonna give a medium on the booty scale though, cause there's no really like 
glute enhancing elements. The fabric is nice, will collect some fur. Their logo is like pretty bold. I'm not sure I love just like the, the square that kind of stick on everything. It's like, you can't really miss it. And it almost looks like a sticker that you're meant to take off. Then they have little cuffs at the bottom that kind of almost make these leggings look like a jogger, but they're definitely fitted like a legging. I will definitely wear these ones again. I wish I didn't have a front seam, but it's not the worst I've seen. And it's nice to have a legging with a drawstring because it's actually my first legging that has a drawstring. And then I have one more set from them. We just kind of have this basic scooped sports bra, kind of the same material as the last sports bra. And I have not tried these leggings yet. They're made of like a more like loungy ribbed material kind of legging. Here's the material up close. It feels pretty soft, not quite as soft as the other ones, but it's definitely not gonna be itchy and has just like some ribbing. So I feel like it'll be pretty stretchy. They definitely are kind of like more like a lifestyle brand than like a gym brand. But personally, I wear a lot of lifestyle stuff when I'm not going to the gym because I like to be comfy and I still feel like you're sleek and cute. So here's the bra and I just, I don't know if I need to size up in their bras. I don't really think so because the band fits really well, nice and snug. I just think at least the bras that I have tried so far from them, not a whole lot of coverage. Um, so I'm definitely spilling out of this one on the top a little bit. And it's not something I would personally choose to wear to the gym because I know I would fall out of it a little bit. So at least for their bras, um, just if they don't look like they have a lot of coverage, probably not the most large cup size friendly. Good side boob coverage though, just very scooped in the front and just a simple scooped design in the back. All right, here are these leggings. The front seam is causing me some problems. Um, so I probably wouldn't reach for these very much just because I really just prefer leggings without a front seam. These definitely do feel like more of a lounge legging. I like the slight amount of texture they have to them and this ribbed, marled material. And they actually are really soft, so they really could be a nice lounge legging. I don't think the camel's like extreme in these, but it's definitely a possibility. Oh, I'm sorry, Peach, <laughs> I stepped on her toes. I'd say these are like mid to high rise. I can't really pull them up very much because of the front seam and the seams sit just a little bit too low for me. They are a little more curved, I believe, than the other ones, but Still just not gonna be the most flattering. Might get some cellulite coverage. Really only like light to medium compression on these. And these are also kind of seven eighths length on me. They do have a pocket in the waistband, which is nice. And it's kind of bigger than most pockets I've seen. And the waistband is a double thickness. So I think they're nice leggings. They're just not gonna be my go-to just cause they don't have some design elements that like are really my favorite. But I can't say I'll never wear them again for lunch. Lastly, I got a couple things from Oxjocks on Amazon. They've been releasing a ton of new stuff recently, which is awesome. And I know that the Gymshark training bras are really popular, but they're really hard to get your hands on. So they came out some bras very similar to those. First, we have the ruched bra here. It's just made of like a semi brushed fabric, so it'll still be soft in your skin. Elastic band at the bottom, little ruche detail in the middle, removable cups, crisscross straps. They are a little bit thin, so they might cut into the traps a little bit. And they also are adjustable and they have that little mesh insert in the back too. All right, here's the bra. This one almost fits me better than the Gymshark one did. This is actually a really solid bra. The material even feels pretty similar to the Gymshark one, just very slightly brushed. The ruche detailing is really cute. The band is a perfect size on my rib cage here, size small, very true to size. I didn't need to tighten these straps. They are pretty thin and they do go over your traps. They definitely have some potential to cut in. I think after a workout, this would probably be leaving my traps a little bit sore, but I'm a big fan of the side boot coverage. The scoop is perfect, a little cleavage, but I'm definitely not gonna fall out of it. Support is, I'd say medium. And then the back is cute. Just got the little mesh panel detailing. So definitely a really solid alternative to the Gymshark training bras. I actually really like this. Then they have one that kind of looks like the Gymshark bandeau sports bra. I feel like it kind of like goes up a little more in the middle than just like a flat across bandeau. But to be honest, I didn't even try the Gymshark one, so I'm not really sure. But it also has adjustable straps, removable cups, and elastic at the bottom. Okay, here's the bandeau one. I don't know why when it was off of me, I thought it kind of scooped up more, but it looks pretty flat across, I guess, because it kind of has to give a little more coverage up here. I think they did a really good job on this bra too. I like the material, nice and thick. For a white bra, I I don't really think I'm seeing the cup pads through. It might be a little bit different on camera, but like as of right now, I think the cup pads are, are pretty solid. Coverage, I would say medium. There might be a little bit of potential for a side boob, depending on how far up this comes on you. But I'd say most bandeau bras don't really fit me very well, but I do feel covered in this one. I'd say definitely if you're in between sizes, I would size up though, because I'm about as big as you could be to fit into the small. But support, 
Also a solid medium just because I'm getting so much compression around here. And then here's the back. Another great alternative for the Gymshark Bandeau training bra because that one's always sold out. This one's actually really solid. I like the straps on this one a little bit better. They're not gonna go over your traps. They're maybe a little bit thicker, still adjustable. Dang, I don't think I've tried a lot of Oxdox bras, but this one is good. And they also came out with some new scrunch leggings. Last time I tried their like navigation style scrunch leggings that had like the contour and that really, really tight scrunch. And I was not the biggest fan of those because they were so tight on the scrunch that so they were just like painful. These look a little bit better. They're kind of like a marled material. So compared to something like the Alphalete Amplifies, these are definitely a different material. It's more of that opaque marled material and not like the almost like, I don't know, almost more, a little more sheer for lack of a better word. The Alphalete Amplifies can be definitely sheer in many colors. So here's the material. It kind of reminds me of Navigation still. It has that little side contour. And then here is the scrunch in the back. It's just like a stitched scrunch and it's not directly connected to the gusset, so it shouldn't be too uncomfortable. And here's the scrunch on the inside, so it doesn't have that like piece of fabric that the last one did. All right, here are the leggings. So these actually are an extra small, so I do recommend sizing down. Um, the waist is definitely snug, but this fits kind of like most small seamless leggings do on me. Everywhere else is really good, like really no extra fabric. We have a little gathering here, not nearly as bad as navigation leggings though. These definitely are like higher rise. We have this side panel detailing. And since they're seamless leggings, seamless leggings usually have a lot of vertical stretch. So they're very like, length friendly. They have almost a slight itchy seamless feeling, so they're not gonna be the softest of seamless leggings. And I feel like the scrunch is not quite doing enough. And I think the issue is the scrunch doesn't go quite close enough to the gusset to really like, you know, pull it into the crease, you know? Like I've talked about the success leggings before. Those are the Amazon Amplify dupes that I feel like are the best Amplify dupes just because they're so scrunched and they do a lot of glute separation. Those go all the way down to the gusset. Alphalete goes like one centimeter away from the gusset. Some of theirs are even connected to the gusset. I think these are just too far because the scrunch is just kind of sitting on top, not really providing any scrunch action. Like I can pull them up a little bit, but it's just not quite giving me as much of a glute separation scrunch as the Amplifies or even other Amplified dupes that I've tried before. So if you're looking for a scrunch that isn't super invasive, this one definitely does not feel invasive when I squat, but because of that, they're also not giving you really like the effect of a scrunch. So personally, these are still not going to be a top Amplify dupe for me. But as a seamless legging in general, I think they're really solid. Oxjox makes great seamless leggings, like just as high quality as Gymshark and Navigation personally. And they usually have good color selection. All right, now on to the last section, any quality updates. So I didn't have anything like totally fail me over the past two months. So I asked you guys on my Instagram story what you wanted updates about. A lot of people were saying Amplify. So because I review so many things, I often only get like a couple wears out of things, especially when I'm doing lots of reviews. So I'm kind of always testing new stuff at the gym. But I'd say like once a week, maybe on a gym day, or if I have a week that I don't have anything new to test, that's when I kind of go into my selection of leggings and I just pick out a piece that just makes me feel good and that like I wanna wear. And just a couple months ago, I was like, yeah, I don't know if I really prefer the Alphalete Amplifies or the Revival leggings, but I just think it's a sign that every time I really wanna like feel good about myself on one day, I I'm reaching for the Amplify leggings. So I can say I have gotten a lot of use out of my Amplifies recently. I wear them like once a week. I do have a couple different colors, so it's not like I've worn one pair like 15 times, but these copper ones I have definitely worn and washed a good amount of times and they're still holding up really well. I'll say one thing I really like about the Amplify leggings is that like once they're on your body and you're working out in them, they don't move at all throughout your workout. And if anything, they kind of like become like a second skin and just like mold perfectly to you throughout your workout. They're very bootylicious, but they're just so flattering. It's just nice to not have to like adjust and pull up your leggings throughout a workout. And I have had these for several months now, several washes and wears, and my scrunch is still doing well and not, and it has not ripped. Whenever I wear the Amplifies, I've just heard stories of people's ripping. I always bring a pair of like extra shorts in my gym bag. Haven't had to use them yet. This is even a scrunch that's actually attached to the gusset before they started making it. So it wasn't quite attaching to the gusset, but I still say that looks really good. And I have worn these copper ones a good amount of times. So Amplifies are still going strong. Another quality update that was requested was the Buff Bunny Viper leggings after a wash. So in general, I wash all of my activewear inside out and I wash it on cold and then I hang to dry. So 
I don't really dry or test this stuff because like it's not really realistic for me. I don't dry my activewear to begin with. And since the launch, I have washed and dried the Viper and it looks just as good as before. I don't notice any differences. Like the scale texture is still like perfectly there. It looks really good and it's still nice and brushed on the inside. So these were like my top pick from the Mad Scientist launch and I still think they're holding up really well. One thing I've gotten a lot of questions about as well is the Buff Bunny Loop yarn. I just got these pieces and like I'm just wearing them around the house so I haven't washed them yet. Stay tuned for an update on the quality of these in my next Love It or Leave It because I've gotten a lot of requests and doubts about if this is going to wash well. I also wouldn't dry these. And my last quality update, again, I'm just pulling from my question box I posted on Instagram, which some of you guys really aren't understanding the question. I asked for like, oh, any pieces you want a quality update on? And you guys are like, can you review this brand? That is not the question, guys. That is not the question. Anytime I post any specific kind of question comment box, like I'll be like, oh, Chicago recommendations. People will be like, can you review Able or something? I'm like, guys, not the time. Anyway, someone asked if I ever get pilling between the thighs on the Alphalete Identity Joggers. These are my most worn pair of Identity Joggers. These are like the Identity Pros. I got these the soonest. I've worn these on several airport trips. I've worn them to the movies a couple times. Definitely have gotten some wearing and some washing out of these. And my thighs do definitely touch when I walk. I do not have any sort of thigh gap. She's not for me. So if something is going to pill between the thighs, I do experience that quite often. And these are still looking pretty good. Here's the crotch on these. And I would say it's just the same as the rest of the joggers. They always kind of have this fuzzy appearance. I really would not say that's pilling, but I will go grab a pair of joggers that have pilled between my legs. A pair of joggers I got recently are from Cozy Earth. I love their bed sheets. And this jogger set is like incredibly soft so soft inside and out, but I've only worn these around the house and they are pilling between the thighs. So this is what it looks like between the thighs when it pills. So can you remove this pilling? Yes, but it probably will just come back. So the Cozy Earth joggers, they do pill. Will I still wear them around the house as like pajamas and stuff? Absolutely, like I'm not gonna stop wearing it just because it has pilling between the thighs, but I don't think it's the most durable fabric. As for favorites, usually I include a couple favorites, but I think I'm gonna save that for my like best active wear of the year video, which I am planning and that'll be up before the end of December. So stay tuned for that. And one more update I just kind of wanted to share with you guys. I have been getting some questions about supplements recently. And you guys know I did used to work for First Form. I am no longer working with them. I kind of stopped posting things early this year, maybe around like April or May recently, but I did just tell them in the last month or so that I was no longer interested in doing that. There's a lot of reasons that I'm no longer working with them, some that I'm not going to go into right now, but it's really nothing about the products. Like I'm still using some of their products. I still really like their proteins. And if you guys are looking for a recommendation, I still would probably suggest some of their things. And another one of the reasons is I have just been dealing with some GI issues this year. And I used to take their greens with reds every day, but now that I'm working with my GI doctor and using things that are more specific to me that I don't really feel like I should be sharing those things because they are just between me and my doctor. I'm not gonna recommend like a supplement that I take specifically for me that my doctor told me to take if it's not something that like everyone should just be taking. So long story short, I'm just like not really taking a lot of supplements anymore. I still use pre-workout and protein powder and like that's kind of it. So yeah, since my love it or leave it watchers tend to watch like all my videos, I figured I would share with you guys. But yeah, that's a little update there. All right guys, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave any video recommendations down below. If you're not already subscribed and you made it this far, please be sure to do so and like the video if you didn't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.